Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were, uh, we were infiltrating Black Mountain, kind of, sort of. Um, we were mainly killing our way through to get to where we need to go, but we are relatively in the Black Mountain area, and now we have what is considered a Nightkin Sniper with a rocket launcher. So, uh, that's a thing. Turning my headset down a little bit, it's a little loud. And now we're just going to deal with that. Wow. Didn't expect that to kill. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm here. And now there is nothing stopping me. So we're just going to keep hearing this uh, crazy stuff on the loop, aren't we? Can I? Huh. It changes where the discs are uh, facing. Look at that. Annabelle. Annabelle. Hmm. That is not what I was expecting to find. I should not hand that to you. <laughs> not that I don't trust you. Just I don't think I should be handing a rocket launcher to you. I keep doing that. I keep hitting that wrong button. There we go. Let's hand off some of the weapons that I can't really keep carrying. Eh. Okay. Uh, you have the full. Okay, let's give you the other one, too. Alright. So, I assume we just keep changing these. Oh, so that changes that one. Okay, so... I'm assuming since that one is broken, that one's not going to change. But this one will change this. I've just kind of been hitting them with no fucking reason, rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. And uh, I can no longer interact with them. So maybe I did right? Maybe I did the good thing? Eh? Yeah? Oh, I have no clue. I have not the damnedest clue. Storage building, eh? Well, here's hoping. Storage building doesn't lead to death. Okay! I'll admit. First thing I see being that thing is a little weird. I'll admit. That, uh, that weirded me out a little bit. Nuka Cola victory! Well, about that. A broken Mr. Handy. The robot lies inert on the table, giving no indication of having worked recently or ever. A nameplate on part of the surface is scratched and mostly faded, but you can still make out the faint word Rhonda. Check the circuitry. You quickly ascertain that the robot's current AI state is set to hibernate, likely a self-defense mechanism after the unit suffered catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI. After flipping the right switch, the robot jumps to life. Hello. Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Um. Sure. Follow me? Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. Uh huh. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. Right. She hasn't gotten lonely, per se. She's just lost her marbles entirely. But forward and backwards. Like, completely. So, uh, maybe this'll, uh, 
help me in the mission? Maybe? Eh, I don't know. We'll find out. Ooh, there's Lumen Ranch, I'll take that. Any good stuff there? Nope. I might find enough to be able to make a fucking uh, repair kit. That'll be something, wouldn't it? Wondered Lou? Well, I mean, as long as I find duct tape. Nope, that is not duct tape. That is a super stim bag. Surprising that that's in here. Ah, uh, package cigarettes. Not worth carrying. Fallout 3, it's worth carrying, but not in New Vegas. Because in Fallout 3, it can be sold for a significant amount of caps. As you can tell, I've been playing it recently. That was not what I intended to pick up. Oh, a star bottle cap. Cool beans. Um, let's get rid of that empty, yeah? Don't need to be carrying empty bottles of anything. Especially not sarsaparilla. Okay, is that just a fucking... That's a hula doll. Tch. That's something, alright. An intact garden gnome, as opposed to all the damaged ones right next to it. Oh, that requires a key. Hmm. Alrighty. Hey, we found duct tape. Which is all we need to make a fucking weapon repair kit. Because I have everything else. Oh, hello. That, oh, hey, I can talk to you. Hi there. Uh, What's up? Gonna need you. Give me a moment. It was popping my neck. I apologize if you could hear that. <laughs> it was necessary. Uh, could you help me craft something? Step into my office. Where? <laughs> okay. Um, we got... Mm, I can make a... Uh, Auto-inject. Should have brought some... Whoops. That's not what I meant to What's do. What's up? I meant to have you follow me. Um... Step into my office. Yeah. I meant to have you craft. And let's make that thing. Yay! Um... Distance. Okay. That all works. Cool beans. Did something fall? It's a baseball bat. That's what fell. Okay. Is that a... There's a missile over there. I almost missed that. Yeah, <laughs> missed the missile. <laughs> um, okay. Let's just head out of here, huh? With the robot in tow, that might actually... Uh, Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mr. Sabina. How I've missed you so. This stranger here fixed me a right as ring. Is he a friend of yours? I might be I now. Don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Equipment key. What will you do now? I don't know been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. Okay. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. Did I inadvertently help R Tabitha and Rhonda? Without really even trying? <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. I did the good thing. I did the very good thing. Oh, I can't get into that. Uh, very hard terminal, huh? But I can get into it. Disappearing? Nope. Purification is closer, but not there. Uh, infiltration. Fuck. It's close. Still close. So the Asian part is probably correct. Asian, not Asian. That's a that's that's a problem my uh, accent does. I apologize. <laughs> oh boy. Allow to replenish, thank you. Alright, um that's not it. Appreciation. Hey! I was gonna say organization or civilization next. So hey, that works. Cool! Let's engage lock. We did it. Hack Supreme. Well, hi there. Hi there, buddy. 
took you long enough. So can I go now? Um, what do you mean took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? I mean, yeah, enjoy your freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out, alone, by myself, into the dangerous waste. Uh, you want to tag along with me? Because you sound like you kind of want to tag along with someone who's going to cover your ass. Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Come on. Adventure awaits. So oh, come on. Fine. Fine, since I can only have one maybe time. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Like, uh, who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Raul Tejada. You're the mechanic. Alright. And I know who this is voiced by. In case you're trying to drop some knowledge on me. Sure, I know. boss. I know. What do you want to know? Eh, machete. Uh, <laughs> you could ask it again. You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? I took My a couple name is bullets. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I took a number of bullets. Then why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. <laughs> That's... You know what? That's fair. That is absolutely fair. It's I'm an open else. book, boss. Granted, the books are Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out. But <laughs> I'm an open book. <laughs> well, I could probably muddle my way through it, I'll be honest. It's close enough. Uh, where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. Hey! We had a little ranch there. That's cool. That is cool. That's us. I'm an open book, boss. How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. That's fair. You know what? That's probably true of a lot of ghouls. That's absolutely fair. I'm an open book, boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. I see. Okay. That's fair. That. So we got a. Uh, we got a uh, Mexican ghoul. With us. Well, going to be. Um, we'll talk more later. Anything you say, boss. Alrighty. Uh, I think, honestly, I don't really need Veronica to follow me too much. So, I think we can say goodbye to her for now. What's up? Uh, time for us to part ways for now. Why does everyone always say that? Because I need to. I want to hang out with Raul. I wanted to hang out with Raul, rather. I, my mouth decided to fuck up that pronunciation. <laughs> I want to hang out with Danny Trejo, okay? <laughs> Just let me hang out with Danny Trejo, okay? Come on. It's a cool shit for me, man. It's cool shit. Come on. <laughs> I just think we should right now. Okay. Then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Well, I mean, that'd be... A place to do it, I guess. Alright. Oh, it's you. Yeah. You need something repaired or something? I kinda actually want you to tag along with me. Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Regular maintenance perk. Regular maintenance? What? Are you tired of what is What is that perk? Regular maintenance? While Raul is a companion, the condition of weapons and armor decays more slowly. The battle cattle? Okay, that's a thing. Um. Hmm. Free, safe, secure about that. Battle cattles. Battle cattles. That's a hell of a fucking word right there. Battle cattles. Okay. Let's talk to Raul a little more, huh? Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. 
You're a sassy as shit, bro. You're a sassy as shit, and I love you for it. I'll admit, I love you for it. I adjust my headset a little bit. Because it seems to be... There we go. It seems to be acting up a little bit. All right. Uh, let's, sure let's ask you a little bit what more do you about know? yourself. Uh, how can I make the best use of your skills? I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a pack Brahmin. But my knees aren't so good anymore. Oh, I see. I don't believe that. You must have some skills. That's nice of you to say, boss. But I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was. I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I still have decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. That's fair. I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job. But I can keep your gear working longer. You know what? That's fair. Lots of older people are still useful to their friends and communities. Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me. If we find them. Because I've never met one. I mean, to be fair, you haven't really been out of this room for that long. So... There's that. <laughs> Uh, let's ask something I'm else. I'm an open book, boss. Okay, um, how'd you end up at Black Mountain? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke-down old man. Okay, that's fair. But how did Tabitha find you in the first place? Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. Just to pass the time. Okay. Well, one day the signal stopped. So I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around. Permanently. Really? Well, then, that explains why you ended up being imprisoned here. I'm an open book. Is there any more? Okay, let's talk about something Anything else. to hold your attention, boss. <laughs> That's fair. Can you repair some of my stuff? Sure, I'll just pull a toolbox out from behind a conveniently placed rock and get to work. Very funny. Talk to me in my shack. I've at least got tools there. We're at your shack, though. Ah, uh, over-elaborate mob schemes to take over Vegas. Reminds me of the days before the war. Yeah, because it was like that the days before the war. For a long time. Very, very long time. Some of it happening currently, in regards to the White House. Anyway, uh, I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Uh, can you tell me anything about Mr. House? Just how old do you think I am, boss? Because I can fairly old. guarantee I'm older than that. Let me tell you a story <laughs> okay. from the Great War. That's fair. Everybody knew Robert House. He was a genius, a superstar. Founded Robco at 22. Dated Hollywood star. It's the works. They say he saved Las Vegas. I was in Mexico City when the bombs dropped. Even from there, we could see houses, defensive rockets shooting down the incoming missiles. Really? Even Everybody there? assumed he died in the war. Maybe he did. But his robots are still out there, rolling the race. And now, a Mr. House rules New Vegas. You can't seriously think they're the same house. I mean, maybe there's a connection. Can you remember anything else about Robert House? I remember there were some weird stories about him, especially near the end. There was a tell-all in El Padiolico de las Arboridas by a starlet house dame. Oh, yeah? She said they never, uh... Now don't make me spell it out, boss. I'm gonna make you spell anyway, it out. Anyway, she said all he wanted to do was scan her brain and make her dress up in different outfits. Oh. Scanned her brain and made her dress up in outfits. And they never did the horizontal tango. They never did the dingy do. They never bumped the uglies. They never fucked is what I'm saying, folks. <laughs> That's semi-sickening. It was quite the scandal, at least in the Latin American tabloid journalism market. To be fair, that would have also been quite a scandal in the American tabloid journalism market. So, yeah, <laughs> I get you. <laughs> you can't seriously think they're the same house. I know Maybe not. They are. Maybe the new guy is just a clever raider chief with knowledge of history. 
Maybe. Maybe he just left instructions for his robots to carry out in his name. Or maybe Robert House uploaded his brain pattern into a computer and rules to this day a godless, soulless machine god. Maybe the whole thing's a crazy coincidence. Who knows? To be fair, you weren't that far off from some of the guesses. He might as well have uploaded his uh, memories and brain info into a computer to then run the world with, well, world, New Vegas, close enough to his world. So, yeah. That, uh, that was definitely a thing that he did, close enough. So you aren't entirely wrong. I had some other questions. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Oh, when will I have a Mexican ghoul who knows more shit than I do ever in front of me? When? When will I have the coolest guy fucking ever, Danny Trejo, in front of me? Never. <laughs> Never. Okay. Do you know anything about a goon named Benny? Wears a checkered coat, carries a big pistol. Benny, huh? Sorry, boss. Doesn't ring a bell. Then again, my brain isn't as sharp as it used to be. Okay, that's fair. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Yeah, that's true. What's your take on the NCR? They're all right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Yeah. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. So you're saying it's a lot like the old governments from before the war? Where it could easily be taken over by a mobster. Sort of. Well, a mobbish sort of person with Russian connections. Okay, moving on. Um, You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Yeah. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your feel about Kaiser's Legion? Just out of curiosity, because we've kind of already wiped them out. Me, personally, have wiped them out. But I, I just kind of want to get your feel on it. So that way, I know if I've stepped on toes or not. I don't really have a problem with them. Uh -huh. People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. Because they are. But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders, you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Damn. Caesar's laws aren't nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. So, you're not necessarily against them, but they did bring law and order of a sort to their neck of the woods. So, I mean, you're not, you know, you're not terribly against them either. I mean, that's fair. That's fair, Raul. Okay. Uh, let's, you're a very let's just ask more questions. Fuck it, boss. why not? This is where we get to ask Danny Trejo questions. Fuck it, why not? Well, Danny Trejo in game. That's Raul Tejada. Okay. Uh, let's talk about New Vegas. It's big, it's bright, and it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. Well, yeah. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre war, but it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Mm. Then Mr. House took over, got the power turned back on. We got the tribes reformed into something civilized. And now they run as casinos for him. That's true. They do run as casinos for him. Civilized, maybe not as much. But, I mean, we've worked to make it a little better in the civilized departments. I mean, for the tops and the chairman, we kind of killed their vindictive asshole and boss. And for the White Gloves, we uh, got rid of their uh, main person trying to turn them back to cannibalism. And we got rid of the uh, super duper mafia version of the Omertas. So there's that. I mean, there's still mafia, just less violent mafia. But yeah, I think we've, I think we've got enough out of you for now. At least info. So thank you for that, Raul. Sure, boss. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's get moving, shall we? What's this? Oh! A bunch of entries in the computer that I have never read yet. I guess I'll get to that eventually. 
Uh, but for right now, I guess we kind of need to move on, don't we? Ooh, got a whole bunch of good shit there. Uh, satchel charge. I don't want to make a satchel charge. I have Eddie for that. Um, let's make a couple of those. Fuck it, why not? Just have them in the back pocket. And I guess we'll get to reading those uh, entries in the next episode. Because right now I'm just exploring this little shack for as much as it's worth. And uh, there's not much, let's be honest. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. That was my ring hitting my headset if you could hear that. <laughs> this has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and dealing with Rhonda's broken downness. And apparently we have uh, turned Tabitha away from being the crazy at Black Rock Mountain. Black Mountain. Um, yeah. And we picked up Raul, who seems to be a cool guy in his own right, which is always a good reason to pick someone up around here for you. <laughs>